Hi, and welcome to section 5.1.6 for network connections. Solving equations without manipulatives. Well, actually, in my class, you've been trying to do it without, without manipulatives here for a couple days here. But let's go through it anyways. Uh, we've got some more problems. For those that have been doing it this way anyways, this is just a little bit more practice for you. And I will be going through it just a little bit more quickly. Um, I start to assume at this point that you know what you're doing. Um, I'm figuring you've rewound your videos when you've needed to. So let's take a look at problem 55, letter E. There's, uh, e, there's A through J in here. You'll be doing all of them, um, but I'll do a couple of these with you. So letter E. So we've got 2 minus 3 times the sum of 2x minus 1 equals 17. As we click to find out what we're doing on those, you'll notice that I first distributed the negative 3 to the 2x to get negative 6x, and the negative 3 times negative 1 to get positive 3. That was my first step. Second step is I combine like terms both on the left side when I can. So I've got a positive 2, a positive 3, together that makes positive 5. Next step is I need to move the positive 5 to the other side. So now how do I do that? Using inverse operations. I'm going to do the opposite of plus 5, which is minus 5. When I subtract 5 from both sides, I've got 12 on the right side, negative 6x on the left side. Next, I divide by negative 6 on both sides, and I get x equals negative 2. As you should know by now, we always show our checks. So, here's my check. I've rewritten the entire equation with the x right here being in parentheses and negative 2, which was our answer. So as I solve using order of operations, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Then negative 4 and negative 1 makes negative 5. Then I take negative 5 times negative 3 to get a positive 15 here. Positive 15 and 2 makes positive 17. 17 does equal 17, so I know that my equation matches. If at any point you did not understand what I just went through here, please pause and rewind the video and relook at what you're doing. Um, I'm going to start assuming that you're getting really good at these here very quickly. So I will go through one more example, which is very uh, a, probably a little more difficult one. It is letter J. It also introduces something to us um, that I want to go over with you. So uh, J is 4x times the sum of x plus 1 equals the sum of 2x minus 3 times the sum of 2x plus 5. So as I go to solve this, 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 1 is 4x. When I use my generic rectangle to solve this, I get 4x squared plus 4x and a negative 15. Now, you'll notice the 4x's here, 4x squareds, will cancel each other because I have equal amounts on both sides. Also, my 4x here and my 4x here are equal amounts, so they will cancel each other. I'm left with nothing over here. The number that represents nothing would be 0. And I'm left with a negative 15 over here. So the answer to this is no solution. Now, the part that I want to introduce you to is, well, how do I check that, Mr. Anderson? Well, here's how you check a no solution answer. Pick a number. And generally, numbers that you want to pick are ones that are easy to work with. For example, 1, 2, 5, or 10. In the one that I'm going to choose, I chose to go with the number 10. So I rewrite the original equation, 4x uh, times the sum of x plus 1 equals 2 times x minus 3 times the sum of 2x plus 5. You'll notice for all the x's, I've plugged in the number 10. As I solve this using order of operations, 4 times 10 is 40, 10 plus 1 is 11, 2 times 10 is 20, minus 3 is 17. 2 times 10 is 20, plus 5 is 25. I know I combine a few extra steps there. I'm assuming by this point you can understand what I'm doing there. Then when I multiply this out, 40 times 11 is 440. 17 times 25 is 425. What you will notice, and here's how you know the check came out correctly on this one is notice that the left side will always be 15 units greater, just like it was up here when 0 is greater than negative 15 by 15 units. 
your answer here of 440 is 15 units greater than 425. That way you know that the left side is always going to be greater and there will be no solutions. So, um, what would you do if there was an all solutions? Well, then any number you would pick would come up to be correct. And that's how you would check your solutions for an all solution. So, same kind of holds true. No solutions are all solutions. Pick a number, generally 1, 2, 5, or 10 are good numbers to pick. They're nice and easy to work with. And then you can test, did, did this hold true for the solution or did it not? And if it, uh, you know, if I had come up with a 440 and 430 over here for a difference of 10, <coughs> excuse me, while this had a difference of 15, well, then I know I did something wrong along the way. But otherwise, that's how you check that. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. And remember to do A through J, except I already did two of those for you. And uh, have those with your checks done for school tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.